hallucination is a, a bad word in a, in a sense. Um, even calling them hallucinogenic drugs, which is the main term in medicine these days, is really a misnomer. Um, if a hallucination means seeing something uh, that isn't there, if you will, with a sense of conviction that it really is there, uh, that doesn't happen with psychedelics. Or, if so, it's extremely, extremely rare. Uh, I may experience, a, with my eyes open, I may, I may see something as if I'm dreaming while I'm awake, and uh, I can describe it to you, you know, and I see the same thing if I close my eyes, you know, and I know I'm kind of projecting it onto the world, or I may be experiencing sensory perception differently than usual. Uh, I may be looking at a statue and seeing it seem to come alive and talk to me. Uh, but I know that you can't see it the way I see it. And so I can describe it to you, and you might say, gee, I wish I could see it the way you see it, you know? But, but that's not really a, a hallucination. It, it's, a, it's a flow of mental imagery uh, that may be projected onto the environment or incorporated into the environment. Um, um, there are mental images. For example, one might see a, a monster or a dragon uh, that portrays some childhood fear. And, of course, we would have instructed the person to look it straight in the eye uh, to take the guide's hand, if need be, to go towards it, essentially saying, what are you made up of? Why, why are you here? What can I learn from you? And as you approach the, the image, whatever it is, uh, you know, it unfolds its meaning, meaning it uh, becomes the babysitter that abused you, the father who was drunk, the whatever it was. And you understand it, and there's catharsis, and there's resolution, and life moves on. Um, the only way people get into trouble with psychedelics is when something like that appears, and they try to fight it off or run away from it. And then you get into the so-called nightmare sequence, where you're running from the monster, and you get smaller and smaller, and it gets bigger and bigger. What you're running from is your own shadow. The Jungian term shadow fits there perfectly. It's these parts of your own mind that you haven't integrated yet or come to peace with. And so uh, if, if something scary appears, uh, that's really a, a wonderful opportunity. But you have to feel the readiness to, to approach it and understand it and move beyond it.